Jeff Bezos' advice for young people who want to be rich. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now, here's the thing. Jeff Bezos said and I quote, If you decide you're going to do only the things you know are going to work, you're going to leave a lot of opportunity on the table. If you decide that you'll only attempt things you're sure will be successful, then you'll try only a few things and have only a small success in life. In the real sense of life, massive successes only go to the people who are crazy enough to try massive things. The Crazy Ones In the year 1975, when Steve Jobs and his co-founders Steve Wozniak and Ronald Wayne founded Apple, their dream was to revolutionize the technology world. But that was a stupid dream. It was a stupid dream because Jobs was only 21. IBM have been the world's most powerful computer company. For a 21-year-old guy to dream of competing with a company with every imaginable resource in the world, that's the crazy thing. But that's the only way to achieve massive success. The problem we have in the world today is that most people do not do anything except they trust that it will be successful. Unfortunately, there's no way you can ever know what you're capable of doing until you try. If you decide that you're going to do only the things you know are going to work, you're going to leave a lot of opportunity on the table. The New Language Five years after I have been an entrepreneur without any success, my elder brother called me and asked me, but you said you wanted to be a millionaire. Many years after, you're still broke. I looked at my brother's face and told him, I'm paying the price. Now listen to this. Imagine that you travel to China, Germany or anywhere in the world where English isn't their official language. You have to live a decade in this country and you won't have many friends or social life if you can't speak their language. So you decide to learn their language. How easy is it for an adult to learn a new language? Not very easy. You'll have to make a million mistakes and if you decide to stop making mistakes, you'll simply decide not to learn and grow in your understanding of the language you're trying to learn. The same thing is what happens when you're trying to achieve success. You won't make mistakes because you're dumb. You won't fail because you're not smart. Mistakes and failures are natural experiences when you're trying to achieve success, just as they are when you're trying to learn a new language. The problem most of us have is to interpret mistakes as being a bad thing. When you interpret mistakes and failures as being bad things, you won't try anything that can make you fail and because you won't try too many things, though you won't make many mistakes, you won't achieve any significant success too. When you think about achieving success, think about learning a new language and this will help you to see mistakes as a normal thing. If you decide that you're going to do only the things you know are going to work, you're going to leave a lot of opportunity on the table. Stop keeping your life. In the Holy Bible, in Matthew 16, 25, Jesus Christ said, Whoever wants to save his life will lose it. That's the truth in the physical realm as it is in the spiritual realm. Whoever wants to keep his life safe will end it in poverty and failure. What are your dreams and what are you doing about them? You can't just sit there and wait for a perfect weather. You have to go out there and get your hands dirty. You have to stand up and try new things. A few failures are not enough for you to sit back and make excuses. Don't tell me that your country is poor and that's why you're poor. Don't tell me that your student loan is much and that's why you'll have to remain broke forever. Don't tell me about how difficult it is. Stand up and carry your weapon. Life is about fighting and you have to take that as a norm. You can't try a few things and decide to give up because they don't work. If you decide that you're going to do only the things you know are going to work, you're going to leave a lot of opportunity on the table. Persistence brings opportunity. I once told you the story of a man who was trying to become the president of my country. I don't think this guy is smart but I respect him for one thing. He wakes up every day to do something about his ambition. One day, he said something that infuriated the people in power and this led to his arrest. His arrest leads to his fame and everyone knows that when you make a man famous enough, he can win an election. The lesson here is simple. If you wake up every day to do something about your dream, even if you're not very smart, one day you'll come across an opportunity that will lead you to success. You can't just do things that are certain to work. 
you have to wake up every day to do something, even if you don't have any clue whether or not it will be successful. If you decide that you're going to do only the things you know are going to work, you're going to leave a lot of opportunity on the table. Well, like.